Hey everyone, Happy New Year. Just going to run you through the bench stuff that I did today. Worked up in singles with uh, long pauses and uh, got up to 285 with a uh, long pause, no wrist wraps, and trying to do that competition style. So going through the commands in my head, and feel really comfortable that 285 would be a easy opener, especially with the long pause that I went, no wrist wraps, all that stuff. And you'll see that coming up here in uh, the next set. So this right here is uh, 275 and the pauses here much longer than what you'd probably find in a, a reasonable competition. I know the USAPL likes to change wardrobes and stuff like that before they give you the press command, but hey, that's their thing, nothing against that. And here's 285, no wrist straps, long pause, and rack. There we go. So I feel good about that one. Keeping the intensities high like I did on Tuesday when I got the 300 for two, but um, the volume is significantly lower on today's workout. And so therefore the, the stress input is a little bit, little bit less because the, the weight over time is lower. Now here's, I think that was 305 for three with the slingshot. Here's 315 for three with the slingshot. And what I've been doing with the slingshot is I will make one of my bench days every week some overload work using the slingshot. And I don't try to one rep max or anything like that with my slingshot. I'm just trying to train with reps and get a decent amount of volume in that overloaded range. And it's something that is somewhere close to what I can actually hit raw. So this last one right here is 325 for three. The pauses on these ones are a little bit lower. I'm getting a little bit fatigued at this point in time. But like I said, using the slingshot for overload work and it's definitely helping out that 300 for two I got on Tuesday is the heaviest I've ever benched. After I did that bench work I went over and I was doing some strict behind the neck pressing. I haven't done these in a really long time so I was just curious as to what I could do and um, see how my shoulder was feeling because last week my shoulder was feeling a little bit bummed out and uh, today it's feeling much better. This was 145 and it felt good well thanks for watching just letting you all know that there's going to be a slight hiccup in my training very soon and let's hope that it's not too much of an interruption and i continue to get stronger and i'll post videos as often as i can